driver, we'll always have the instrument cluster. Uh -huh. um, I can simulate uh, picking up speed and the uh, perspective shifts as I gain speed. Also showing then all the other vehicles on the road around me. Yeah. Um, and then we have our home screen right here. It's a little bit cluttered right now. It's still a concept, but I can launch something like navigation then full, full screen. Yeah. Um, when I have any app in full screen, I can control it here on the driver tablet or here on the co-driver tablet. Mm -hmm. um, and then we call it the shared experience display. So I can swipe down from the top to get to uh, quick access. So sort of like a control center on a cell phone. On the smartphone, yeah. yeah. And then split the screen just with this button here. Now the driver tablet controls the center application. Yeah. And I can launch a second application here via the co-driver tablet. So it, was, it will split, oh, okay. Exactly, and yeah. then I can launch it over there. Yeah. And, and now I have nice. the two applications running in parallel. So Like two hour maximum. Uh, two at a time, yeah. Okay. Um, so I can be driving, focusing on the navigating, right? Yeah. And then I can say, hey, uh, pick a song for, for me. Yeah. So then I can click here. Um, we have touch gestures working here. So tap to select, uh, pause play, uh, swipe back, and scroll the list. Yeah. Um, and as a UX designer, you'll probably appreciate... Um, I'm sorry, I'm a short sure. question. Is there considered to be any haptic feedback? Um, for, the, for the launch, no, no, but it's something that we want. Yeah, it would be really, really good. Exactly. Um, so if I swap... Uh, at the, as a drive, uh, you can always pick a different application and it always brings it to the focus. Yeah. So I just switched media over to the center. Um, and. What's, what's good is the focus for the list always stays where the red is. Um, so the list is actually scrolling up. Um, and the focus, the focus position focus is fixed. Exactly. So yeah. the driver can always just look, look into back. one place. Exactly. Oh, this exactly. is actually a very smart decision. Okay. Um, and as you probably also noticed, this is uh, acting more like a trackpad. So uh, mm -hmm. it's not very... You don't interact too much besides touch gestures. Yeah. So I'm looking at the screen and swiping up. I, I don't need to look here at all, right? So online radio can swipe forwards, backwards, scroll up and down. Yeah. I don't need to focus my attention here. So when we do a lot of uh, eye tracking testing, we have a really small heat map. Uh, so from here, here and here. Uh, yeah. In comparison to cars which have a touch screen here in the middle, yeah. you have to really take your focus from the from the road down to here. Well, um, what about the navigation if you need right now uh, to see what is the next turn so and it's it, so far? Exactly. So turn by turn will always be here in this part of the instrument cluster. Oh, okay. Um, but if I really wanted to focus on navigation, I can either press the home button or swipe up from the bottom and just click maps and it will swap over for me and then I'm getting close and a little stressed. Um, I can always just take away the, the split screen and bring up uh, the, the full screen. That first uh, chain of the actions was a yeah. bit too complex, I would say. I would say. Yeah. Like I, there was like three steps at least, right? Yeah. For, for I, well, for if I wanted to swap it, yes. Um, split screen is always one like one swipe and one click away. Yeah. Could um, you do this with gesture? And not not with split screen right now. So gesture um, because that would be very convenient, like drag and drop the right? navigation. Yeah. yeah. So that w we we tried some concepts with like having a button to swap, which is on each display, but yeah. people ended up getting confused to know what's selected where now. Yeah. So we have them explicitly uh, like. Um, pick what app they want to launch and then um, if you have media over here and uh, I, just, I just played it um, if I have media over there it would just swap so then uh, with gestures we have of course like volume, volume up and yeah, down I can go scroll this like forwards backwards up and down top to select next song wow this is interesting gesture it's, it has to be like that. Yeah, like the next song and yeah. previous song. Um, of course, climb up and down. Go back. Scroll up one. Then, uh, <laughs> my favorite gesture is actually uh, for uh, for video. Okay. So you grab it and 
Oh, this is a very nice one. Do you know the blossom gesture from the Microsoft? Like this one? Yeah, yeah, it exactly. reminds me a little bit of Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, make it lower and then you can also make it... Uh, uh, oh, how... This? So, yeah, so you have to make it full screen, you grab it and you pull it back. Okay. Then you can also bring it full, uh, grab it and... Uh, sorry. Okay. Is it reacting just on your gesture, or I can do the same? Uh, you can do the same. Just need to start your hand over the. Uh, oh, okay. Wow, this works. Yeah, it is cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. I like it. So, like I said, I've been using the gestures for about a, a week now, and um, it's actually pretty, pretty quick to, to do stuff, and especially with, especially with the media. Uh, Which you're actually most of the time using video either yeah, navigation. Yeah, you exactly. never go into the settings right. or something like this. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people when they get in, they just start trying to do stuff and be yeah. like, no, no, I gotta be a little bit more controlled and yeah. um, really things click and to the next one. And it's even it's even fast just to do volume or go back really. But the problem is you still have to watch it. You have to observe it. Like you can do, do, yeah, no, yes. you cannot do this blindly as you usually could do, for example, with a physical button. So this is yeah, kind no. of like it's already releasing or revealing in terms of the attention. Yeah. But anyway, it requires attention. Yeah, yes and no. So like if I just want to skip to the next track, I don't need to look at anything, right? Of course, if I want to pick something specific, like I need to really look. Right? Yeah, for skipping it, that's true. That's fine. So it's convenient. I think in the end, people will use it for uh, like not all of the gestures all of the time, but you know to quickly skip to the next song. Yeah. You can also press here to, to skip. So I, I forgot yeah. to cover the harder button. So this always stays fixed here in the center. Yeah. Um, I have a home button here, which brings me back to uh, app launcher. If I click it one time, if I click it two times, it brings me to the home screen. So it's like default setup, or exactly. Okay. So this this just is just how you're welcomed when you get into the car. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have volume here. Uh, this would act. This activates voice control, but it's uh, way too loud here. Yeah. Um, and then track, skip forward, and skip, skip backward. This is for the uh, all for the um, cruise control. Yeah. So I can change the distance between the cars in front of me, so forward or closer for the active cruise control. Yeah. Um, or the speed, up or down. Uh, cancel it as well. Yeah. Um, I think you'll appreciate then our climate control concept. So um, we have uh, going this way and temperature going this way. Uh, right now they're synced up, so if I drag and drop. Oh, you can change the position where it's. Yeah. Ah, the temperature. It's, yeah, this is a temperature concept. Oh. So it's getting colder or hotter, and then the fan speed. So after ah, one or two times using it, say okay. it's uh, way too way too hot for me right now, I just click in the corner, um, or we could unsync. Yeah, it's a quick access to the exactly. like really, yeah the temperature I want to have. Yeah, right. it's actually very nice. And I just change it here, and you can click here. Um, don't you afraid to have so many pretty innovative solutions in the interface, and people have to kind of like get used and learn them? Yeah, I mean, uh, so we first started with like the. Getting the, getting the basics right, so we don't have any hard buttons for the climate control. Yeah. So we wanted something that's a pretty easy concept to do. So um, first thing is, when, while you're in an application, you can always change your climate control by swiping from the top. You get into this quick access menu yeah. and just changing it here. So you don't have to launch the climate app, and then when that goes away, you're still in the application that you were beforehand. Yeah. Um, we also have on the quick access, like your parking camera, Oh, it's nice. So when you shift into reverse, it automatically brings this up. Um, we also have a, a 3D view for it as well, which has predefined views, but you can also click and It's like real time? Yeah, exactly. So it's using the like four or five cameras around the car in order to generate the environment around it, and then it renders the, the car real time in the middle. Nice. Yeah. It requires a lot of performance. Yeah, so we it have. It must our, be like a really powerful computer on board. Yeah, we have we have two in there actually, actually that we um, are building building ourselves.
designing it. Building yourself? Yeah, so we're not working. Like we're working with the supplier to produce them, but we're not taking uh, off the ta- off the shelf like Final product from okay. like Bosch wow. or Conti or Harman or anybody that, that we're designing. And That's a lot of effort to yeah. do this everything yeah. from the scratch. Yeah, but um, on the other side, we then work with suppliers like Bosch for the drivetrain, and we're not doing that from scratch. So we're really focused on delivering user experience. Yeah. Um, and my like, okay. Like you can set up uh, wallpaper. Oh, nice. So it's still a little personal, right? Like not yeah, I just. Hard, but yeah, I actually, actually wanted to ask how about personalization? Like how yeah. far you can go? So like the wallpaper, anything else? Yeah. So these, these will be widgets um, for the production car. So um, we're thinking like, um, of course, whether whether uh, some the whole list of them. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, uh, within media, there's um, uh, all, all of your favorites. Mm-hmm. Same, same within navigation. Um, when your profile is loaded uh, via facial recognition, um, basically uh, it'll load like your seat settings, your climate settings, all of your favorites, and any uh, accounts that you have. For example, like QQ Music. I don't know if you know. It's kind of like Spotify. So yeah, I've heard about can, it. You can connect it uh, to your bike ID, and then yeah. you would have your QQ Music. Uh, This will switch automatically from light to dark with a ambient light, light sensor, but you can also drive during the day in dark mode if you want. That's cool. Yeah, so it's either like automatic or, or dark. 